attempts. Semifinals, two rounds, 25 seconds each or three attempts. The final round, 60 seconds or three attempts. Dunk attempt is defined when a player leaves the feet off the ground when gathering towards the basket. If a player exceeds time or dunk limit, they forfeit their dunk. Here's a look at all of our dunkers. Uh, some great ones here, some high flyers we'll talk about individually. Kamari Brown from Jordan, Georgia Southern. Miles Burns from Ole Miss, to name a few. And Nike Sabandi from Pittsburgh. He can really, really fly. All right, take a look at the talent picks. First up, Angel, your pick. I'm going with Shaquan. I mean, I told you he's a high flyer, but he also said he's playing with a little bit of passion. He said, I'm putting D2 on the map. He did say the toughest thing was finding a dunk that no one else has seen, so I'm excited to see it. The guy's first name is Nike. You think me, I'm going to bet against him? Come on, just do it. Let's go. My pick is Kamari Brown from Georgia Southern. He's been a two-time two dunk contest champion. Both were in high school, but that's okay. Jay Bill, who are you rolling with? I'm going with Keen Jamal Harris. 52-inch vertical, won a dunk contest in Las Vegas. He can fly. All right, here is our judges. He's the man, the myth, the legend himself. It says late last dunk was 1986. I think that's felonious. <laughs> Jay Billis here with us tonight. <laughs> yeah. Coming up next, he's a radio personality that everybody loves, especially down here in Houston. Stan Norfleet, a legendary dunker in his own right from Purdue. You think of the big dog, and then you think of Robbie Hummel as a high flyer. Maybe, maybe not. Up next, you see him on stadium at Field of, 50, uh, field of 68. He's a college basketball contributor, Jeff Goodman. And our fifth judge, the King Hawaiian fifth judge of the night. You see him from America, Ninja Warrior, Akbar Baja B. Amelia is here tonight. In fact, I played against him for the California State Basketball Championship when he was at Crenshaw back in 1996. He said he gave you buckets. Major dunk over you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. probably. All right, it's time now. We get the dunk contest started with the State Farm Dark Horse Dunker, recognizing the winner of the Dark Horse Dunker Digital Program, a contest where online voting determined the eighth and final roster spot. The 2023 winner is Carlos Pepin from East Stroudsburg. My name is Carlos Pepin. I'm from East Stroudsburg University. And something you guys probably don't know is that I like Spanish rap better than regular rap. There you go. Who knew okay. that? Uh, Google's Spanish rap <laughs> on the way home. One That's of the on most the interesting angle, things right? about him. I'm trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. I got to diversify. He's a three sports star, including a high jump champion. Oh, make the dunk. That's great. Great start, right? Great start. Just warming up. It's just, you know, getting the legs going. How are we doing with the score? We'll look at the scores here. Are we not? I see eights here. and nines in the audience. We have an eight, and we have nothing else up. So we got to go. Everybody's got to vote here. Voters vote. <laughs> All right, we got a couple eights, a seven. Have it it wasn't necessarily clean though. It didn't rip through the rim. It went off the back iron. Do you dock? Do you no. dock a little bit of that? It was still a nice dunk though. Yes, but I mean, Tough your dunk in 1986 here. was very clean, Jay. And I think we have a picture of it. We'll put it in the show later. <laughs> Carlos was a high jumper in yep. college. 6'10 is his personal best. Pretty good. 38 for him in his first round dunk. Come up next, Ahmad Rand. We've already seen him in the team competition. Now he's in the dunk contest. Um, my name is Ahmad Rand from uh, Lincoln, Georgia. Uh, one thing that I like to do outside of basketball is play basketball, video games, <laughs> and uh, train my little brother. He must be talking about double dribble, right? Nintendo double dribble? I miss double dribble. You remember when you used to dunk it or go to some strange <laughs> graphic? <laughs> I'm more of NBA jams, though. Boom shakalaka. Oh. Let's see what he has in store. Two hands. Oh, and that does count as an attempt. Remember the rules here. You only get three attempts. Okay. Well, okay. I've never okay. seen that before. A reverse 360 with a hand on the backboard. That electrifies everybody and gets them on their feet. Look at all the tens in the crowd. Okay. A lot of it tens. The judges. You know, a couple eight. nines and an eight. Look, Akbar, you talked about wanting to have creativity. That's as creative dunk as I've seen this season. That was pretty good as we watch this Very one. 47-inch nice. vert, oh. touches the backboard, wow. reverse 360. If that's going to get an eight, I don't know what's going to get a 10. That was For big real. time. Look, 
and, and we got more rounds to go. That, I mean, and look at the elevation. With that? Right, that's what I'm saying. He led with that. Jay, Bill, that's ridiculous. Deep well, he's a dynamic athlete. And, and ladies and gentlemen, let's not judge the judges over there. <laughs> <laughs> a little respect. All right, we take a look at the score in the opening round. 44, very solid opening round. Could be good enough to remember, get to the final four spots here. Coming up next is my pick to win the contest. 47 inch vertical leap. Kamari Brown from Georgia Southern. What's up, everybody? My name is Kamari Brown. I attend Georgia Southern University. Something interesting about me. I love the band. Love to have fun. You know what I loved about Kamari Brown? He's the first contestant in nine years. When we were done asking him questions, he had questions for us. He said, let me interview y'all. Sit down. We're like, OK, cool. Because he's been here before. Oh, oh wow. OK, OK. okay. No, no like, fun. Did you see that explosion? Listen, he said he already won two dunk contests. So high fly. Oh. <laughs> OK, His Kamari. head was it's so nice. Oh my! Oh, a little salsa too. Come on! <laughs> go! Go! That Swaggy. was electrifying. There you go. There's the tens. There's the tens. Watch the explosion here, Jay. Bill, take me through the explosion. What did you like best? Boy, he's a big-time two-footed jumper. But you're right. His head was next to the rim. I gave him a nine with an extra point for the post-dunk dance. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, wow. Oh, it's gonna be fun! My man's gonna make it fun yeah, tonight! Yeah, that's going on the gram. Oh, my goodness. We'll wait for the score, but he should be in first place after <laughs> that. A little shimmy, a little salsa, a little flavor for you here in the Houston Hoops house. Now he drops a 47. That is the best score we've seen so far. Uh, coming up next is Jay Billis's pick. Keen Jamal Harris. I'm Keen on Harris. I go by Jamal. I play for Northern New Mexico College. Um, one thing about me is um, I do on the side of a content career. So uh, major in film and digital media. Now he's going to try to create some content for you, Jay Bill. What do you like best about this guy? He was your pick. Well, he's a spectacular athlete. We mentioned his 52-inch vertical, but was a champion in high school at Christmas Attucks High School in Indianapolis. He and Nike Sabandi were teammates in high school and won the first state championship at that high school since Oscar Robertson did it in 1956. This is the first time we've had somebody come out to the floor. You mentioned it, 52 in first. He said competing brings out the dog in him. We'll see if the dog comes out here on this dunk. Time is running. He's, He's got, got 10, 10 seconds. Somebody's uh -oh, got to let him know. You got to get it. Right, let's go. Let's go. He's not here. Let's go. That was poor clock management. Uh, he's already done. He has a time, and he didn't know it. Look, he wanted to set it back up again. I say let him do it again. He said rewind the Instagram story timer to 15 seconds. Let him create some more content on here. Uh, that's a shame because, Jay, he could really fly, and we didn't really get a chance to see him do his thing. I say let him do it again. Uh, you're Jay Billis. You could probably get that done. You need Jay. to talk to the executives right, right. over there. I said that's a disappointment. Shaquan Jules, though, from Radford, he is not a disappointment. He's here to have some fun. I'm Shaquan Jules from Radford University. And an interesting fact about myself is I'm the only left-hander in my family. Angel, this was your pick. You <laughs> gave him a nickname right away. You said you look like LeBron James. And he LBJ. said sometimes I get a little Joel Embiid as well. He did, but LBJ all day. I'm just saying. See, this is always dangerous here. When you have a clock, you got to get going right away. You gotta hurry. Remember, the clock is running. He listed on his Instagram page, he's an underdog until he dies. Come on! Top dog now! I love it. Top woo, show. Woo, 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 baby! <laughs> <laughs> he said he loved playing in the CBI. It's where he was able to end his career back at home. 
His mom, his family were there. Had a chase dunk and a tip dunk on the same play. Jay Billis, what'd you like? Well, he's primarily a two-footed jumper, the only lefty in the field. But that timing play was really impressive. I mean, he caught it right at the rim. What looks hard to me is the ball was thrown from the other side, so he catches it on one side of the rim, and he finishes by Duncan on the other side. That and he brought it down. Hard. By the way, sometimes Beautiful. the Beautiful. replay is really important to really appreciate the quality of the dunk. The participants loved it. The judges, their score, a 48. Good. Okay. Good that score. puts them on top of the board right now, one point ahead of Kamari Brown. Remember, the top four in the first round go on to the semifinals. I'm just saying. Coming I'm up next from Ole Miss, Miles Burns. Hi, my name is Miles Burns. Um, I go to Ole Miss. I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Um, one thing interesting about me is I like to watch anime. Um, outside of basketball, I also just like to play video games, read books, do poetry, things like that. Uh, he mentioned it from Houston, Texas. We are here inside the Houston Hoops house. He's trying to show out in front of fans, family, teammates from high school. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What are we trying to do here? Let's see if he can electrify the crowd. Ooh. Okay. I see where he's coming from. He's got one from. more attempt. That's two attempts. It's this is be the about last the pass, attempt. Right? The pass is so important off that board. You got to get the timing down. You have to have a dunk. Like, you need to make it right here. Yeah! Oh. Come on. That's the second participant that we've had here out of the eight that has failed to make a dunk. What did we tell the dunk competitors yesterday? Make the dunk. Make the dunk. Emmanuel Ansong joining us now from Vanderbilt. My name is Emmanuel Ansong. Uh, I go to Vandy. Uh, I guess the interesting fact about me is that uh, I like to read and watch movies on free time, and uh, I just be chilling. So. Hard not to root for this young man. His goal after this is said and done is to run a nonprofit for the homeless. Yeah, pretty amazing. He said a lot of experiences being in cities where he knew people needed houses. And so that's what he wants to be. If that's a game changer to me. Like, Did I see Jerry Stackhouse here, by the way? Is Stack here too? Uh, with a camo shirt. Come on. Where is Stackhouse Stack at? Stack always dressed to the nine. All right, he gets one more attempt here. He said he admires Zach Levine, too, so we'll see what he got. There it is. Make the dunk. There goes Stack. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse hiding in the back. Stack can't be hiding. Nobody <laughs> can't be hiding. Not with that suit on. He you needs can't to wear that line. outfit and think you're blending in here. He's over there. We might have to go talk to him. Absolutely. How about that? At least he made the dunk. It's not necessarily the most exciting dunk we've seen so far, but. But, like, that's really hard, and he made it look easy. And even though that's his third attempt, I hope he gets a good score. A dunk score of 37. That's going to put him in fifth place, which means he is not going to advance. You see the jersey of Pitt. It's now time for Nike. It's always time for Nike. Always. Just do it. I asked him if he's ever worn a pair of any other. My name is Mikey Zabandi. I went to the University of Pitt, and somebody I look up to on uh, a dunking glove who is Zach Levine. All right, you're, you were well, talking about wearing different shoes. He's obviously never shoes. worn another pair of shoes, right? Can't. But he's just waiting for his sponsorship to come along. All right, Nike. He said his sister helped him fall in love with the game. She was a hard worker, stayed in the gym, inspired him. He, he, he the clock is running, Can't so you got a very limited time here. Come on, Nike. Maybe he had a dunk confident. against Sy Syracuse on an out of bounds. Yes, sir. That was just silly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's when you do boogie on third in the next round. Let's when go. When you dunk what? over Tiny, that should probably help you. <laughs> Jay Bill, what's your thoughts on that one? I think anytime you jump over somebody that big, the ACC Sixth Man of the Year, Nike Sabandi, that's a 10 to me. Love it, love it, love it. Big time score. Big time score. Angel Gray, take me through it. Look at the elevation. Look at the execution and the trust by the prop. <laughs> you got to be a little nervous to be the prop, no? Like, you know your neck is about to get swiped, and you better keep it still. A little hand on the back. I don't take away that's anything right. from that. I think that's that's smart. He's still got a head, though. That's a good thing. We like that one. We like that one <laughs> a lot. Brooke, look at you, all giddy and excited. You know. At your first college slam dunk three-point 
championship. This is my first time here. I can't help it. All right, take a look at his score. A score of 49. That is the best score of the opening round. He's wow. like, I'm already viral. The top four dunkers will go to the second round. So we take a look at the leaderboard after round number one. Sabandi, Jules, Brown, Rand, they all advance to the next round, which will be coming up in just a little bit. But first, we'll, we'll go from here. And the three-point cut. Take a look at who advanced into the semifinals. Sabandi, Jules, Brown, Rand, all advanced with sensational efforts in the first round. And it will bring him to the semifinals. Two rounds here, 45 seconds or three attempts. Remember, attempt is when they leave their feet. Ahmad Rand will get us started out of Milwaukee. We mentioned the 47-inch vertical leaps. Six foot eight, sometimes bigger dunkers, they don't get the love, but his first dunk was sensational, Brooke. Yeah, I mean, he came through and set, set the tone. So now it's all about making the dunk, but now you've got to add some extra creativity. Which each step of the competition, the judges will get more harsh. Rand backs up, he's here on the near side wing. The clock is running. He's trying to get everybody hyped. Here he goes, takeoff time here at the Hoop House. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. All right, what I loved about that personally is it was his first attempt. He hesitated. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and my man delivered. <laughs> I just love the passion. I didn't think it would get better than the reverse 360 after he touched the backboard. That was a monster dunk. Jay, what did you like about it? Exactly what you guys said. I mean, he averaged 15 rebounds, eight blocks a game in high school, and that was a nose on the rim. 360, that was really impressive. Big time. Look at that angle for a quad pro. And it felt like he like stayed up in the air for another half second after he's up there. Well, it, it was rewarded with a perfect 50. As it that, should. That wowed everybody yeah. here, and what a first effort. That was Demari Brown was my pick to win the competition. Had a great first up, got a 47. Let's see what, he said he had a plan. Yesterday he said, <laughs> I have a plan. Let's see if he's able to execute it. The clock now begins. Oh, we got, here we go. Prop. Oh this boy. This can sometimes be trouble. Come on, man. Oh! I'm done. I'm Drop done. Everything. I picked him to be my winner. I knew he was going to be great. I knew he was going to be sensational. Give me a microphone. I'm taking the microphone. Everybody in the truck, turn on the mic. I'm going to Lafonso Ellis right now. Lafonso Ellis, as you watch this again, you are in this competition. What did you love about that dunk, Fonz? <laughs> Unbelievable competition, and what a dunk. He didn't push off. He didn't push off. He just flew Angel Gray. Is this a dunk contest or dancing with the stars? Either way, he's doing both. My man got the moves. He got I some cannot Michael believe moves. what I just saw. Come on. I'm so hyped. I don't even care. We got 250s here to start this next round. Yo. The semifinals are lit. NBA, start watching Miller. this because you might find some dunkers that might be available next year. All right, Josh. Good job. I got to calm down. Yeah, we got to get you. Get give me some water. Let's get you on some water. Right. Where's his David Seisler, give me some water. We need another round. <laughs> we need another round over here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A shot of water for Sean. Come on. All right. Shaquan Jules from Radford is getting going off the back. Oh, that's uh, a layup by Darius I'm not McGee. Sure that's supposed to come. Darius McGee with the layup. <laughs> <laughs> Another oh! layup! McGee oh! cannot be stopped. They're trying. That's what they're trying to do. Trying okay. to get through. They're trying to get through like the net that. and then go. Here. But this is the last time he has a chance come to on, get it. Come on! Come, come on, on! Come on! Yeah! Oh! This one's for you! Woo! 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 Oh my oh God! God. <laughs> this, do we have a problem? I don't oh, even man. care. Come on. I don't even care that it took three times. Hey, I don't care that, that it took three LeBron? times. Angel, how Jay, I don't like care. Just like LeBron, that. Come on. Jay, your it. thoughts on that? Perfect. Woo. I've never seen that before. I've never <laughs> seen somebody take it out of the bottom of the basket. I thought that was a mistake that Darius McGee made the first time, but clearly it wasn't. Wow. 
I mean, watching that on replay, the timing, the height, the execution to finish with that much power, that is just silly. Stop Let's it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. How are we going to judge the competition if everybody gets 50s? If everybody gets this 50s, fantastic. how are we supposed to check. pick a winner? This is fantastic. <laughs> you get a check. Everyone gets a check. Oh my goodness. Just cut more checks. Let's go. Oh. Hey, we're not grading on a curve over here. <laughs> that is unbelievable. You, you reward the performance. All right, Nike, just do it for me from Pitt. Sabandi, as Jay mentioned, ACC Sixth Man of the Year. His first dunk was in the ninth grade. The bar has been set so ridiculously high. I mean, if you watch those first, the first three dunks, you're now thinking in your head, I've got to do something just silly here. He's a competitor. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, oh. Three seconds to get that dunk that is a missed first dunk. I don't even know where we're at right now. I've lost my mind here. That's nice. Listen, that is nice. But after what we saw from the first three competitors. Yeah, that's a nice pair of slides is what that is. That's not your high tops, your Jordans right there. Jay Billis, how do you judge this one? I thought it was a great dunk. The problem is he was going right after three <laughs> absolutely spectacular next level dunks. But Nike Sabandi, I mean, that's a big time, that's a big time flush. That's pretty hard to do. 45 is a great that score. Is score. And in most competitions, most competitions of 45, probably good enough to get you to the semifinals. But this, this is a State Farm College three-point and slam dunk championship. You have to bring it, and you have to be ready. And we saw three 50s. The second round is going to get silly. Well, let's take a look. As we take a look at the three, at the four semifinals, the three perfect scores after the first dunk. Now remember, it's a combination of the first and second score. So they have to come back and do it all over again and get us all up on our feet. And the Kings Hawaiian Slam Dunk Championship, one of the greatest semifinals we have ever, ever. seen in this competition. Ahmad Rand, back at it again. If it's a five, can we just do a dance off? We might have to, but Kamari Brown's already proven he's got the best moves he's, on the dance. He's definitely got that one locked. Oh, up. he's backing up. Oh, are we feeling MJ vibes here? A little MJ free throw line vibes. Come on. He's wearing 23 now. Oh! Okay. Okay. Now, I will give him credit because he was behind the free throw line. He did not step over it. Take off. Come on. Come Take on. off. I'm out range. They know they have to bring the it because we what, what we saw in the first semifinals. Oh, oh, watch out! Camera guy. Oh. Okay. You all right? points. We okay? You right? okay. Right? <laughs> we gotta step up. A layup. Oh. See, okay, so that's the level of importance. So right. we talked about this being two dunks. It's not just about your first dunk, it's what you've got to do to bring it back. Got to bring it back. In the second dunk of the semifinal. <laughs> you go big or you go home. Well, you're trying MJ dunk, you're going big. I appreciate that effort. Everything's bigger in Texas. Ahmad Rand, what a performance though with yes. that opening dunk. Yeah. They gave him a perfect 50. The second round gives him a score of 15. That opens it up for Kamari Brown, who also had a 50. And remember, he said he had a plan. He's got three under the basket right now out on the floor. And we're about to see some real serious. H-Town, get some love up. H-Town gonna try to bring it. We're moving racks. Here he goes, takeoff time. This man has flown so far. All right, all right. Hey. Dance moves in the bag, like what? Hey, if it's a dance off, this guy's winning, no doubt. Do you get double the score? Jay Maybe Billis, the first round was unbelievable. What do you think of Kamari Brown and his effort so far? He just jumped over three competitors. That's an 11. <laughs> Take a look at this, Angel Gray, your spots. He said play free. He also said MJ is the GOAT. He showed his cult like behavior tonight. He built up that much momentum before the three-point line, like two steps outside of it. Do you know what I love about it, too? 
is he doesn't push off with his hand to right. elevate higher. He's <laughs> literally jumping over people. He barely cleared Taylor, so, Taylor, so he might want to check on her later. Doesn't matter. That's a foul <laughs> and one. Check that ponytail. Check, check the it. pony. Check the pony. So Kamari Brown with a perfect 50-50. All right. Shaquan Jules out of Radford. He had a 50. Shaquan Jules is up next. He used to make some noise. Let's see what he brings to the table here. Six foot seven. Lists himself as a point forward. Says he always wants to be hungry. Oh! Oh my. <laughs> the truck. I'm out. Where's the trophy? Fred McCaffrey is smiling. Fred McCaffrey never smiles and he's smiling right now because he's watching what we're seeing. I see a hundred points from a lot of people. I see hundreds everywhere. Like that was unbelievable. Wow. I mean that is so big time. Fred McCaffrey was standing up and simply staring at the floor. He could not believe what he was seeing. He was so deep in his stare, he had to take a step forward Six, to seven. fully appreciate that dunk. Unbelievable out of Fred McCaffrey. <laughs> That's when you know it's good when players make that face like, did that hurt? I don't know if it hurt, but that hurt was so good. good. It hurt too Jay good. Bell, wow. you gave him a 12. Wow. You're still watching the semifinals. Listen, Nike Sabandi had a 45 to start with. We have two perfect scores. He cannot advance. You know what I say? Go nuts. Go crazy. Do something you can't even think of. What do you say, Jay Bill? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. How much fun has this been? I'm losing my voice. I love it. This competition has been wild. So much fun. Creativity off the charts. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. I like the effort. I like what we're trying to do here. And again, you got time. Wasn't that a Zach Levine type dunk in the in the contest? Oh. Then he did a little similar to the last round. That's fine. Make the dunk. Again, make, make the your dunk. dunk. Go right. home feeling good about yeah. yourself. You can't help it that this might be the greatest slam dunk competition in the history of the college. Right. Absolutely, three point absolutely. Slam that dunk probably wins a lot of other slam dunk contests. Listen, I've been here for nine years. There, these, this dunk right here would have been way good enough in previous competitions <laughs> to get you through to the finals. But Jay Billis, this is not your normal year in, co in competition. This has been so impressive. Like these are big time dunks under pressure. Well, perfect scores on the board. It's Jules, it's Brown, 100-100. What do they have? Slam Dunk Championship Final. From right here in the Houston Hoops House, the Bayou Music Center. Those scores, don't adjust your monitor. They had two dunks. They both dropped 50 pieces on both of their dunks. They have set a standard that is elite beyond the level in which we've seen in this competition for quite some time. Both of them have an opportunity. There's one dunk here in the finals. The judges are ready. The belt for the champion, Kamari Brown, Georgia Southern. He said he had a plan. I keep repeating it, but he planned to be here in the finals. And what does he have in store for us in this final round? See, that's what scares me is like when you're taking off all the way in the backcourt, you don't have a lot of time. He, that didn't even t count as an attempt, though. You got some little shorties under the basket. Watch out for them. Oh. <laughs> that's like a jet. He just took right off. Uh, he got some eights there. He got a ten and some nine. The door is open. Do you think because no dance moves, he, his score went down a little bit? I think it Well, let's see where he took off from. It is definitely a step inside. Or two. Or three. <laughs> oh, but still, but the hard. elevation. That's the style head of points right there. I like that. At the iron, Angel Gray, what stood out to you? I do think that the gritty probably would have got him a 50. <laughs> Jay Billis, does previous success bring that one down a little bit, Jay? It was awesome, but these guys have set such a high standard. Yes. 
Jaquan Jules. Has to be to 43. He's got Darius McGee out on the floor again. Here we go. Oh, that counts. That count? That's not a dunk. He's not done. Do it again. Uh, they're gonna. They're, so they're can, gonna do it again. He can do it gonna, again, though, right? Uh, that counted. That counted. Okay, so the ball went down. The official judges here at Intersport are saying that that counts. Time is clicking. The so judges are confused. Go, go. Get some go. confirmation. Let's go. They have to judge off the first dunk, though. It's great to see it. It was phenomenal. But they have to judge off the first dunk. That's Will the judges be able to separate from what they just saw to what we saw in the first one? You have to. That's why we're sitting with you, Sean. Off the first one. Now, the boos are raining down, but it's important to note, this is the one that counted, bro. Yeah, this, you hate to see it, right? You don't want to see this end like this. All the great dunks we've seen tonight. And this did not count, but it was nice. It is phenomenal, but the first dunk was the one, unfortunately for him, a score of 28. Uh. So the winner of the competition your slam dunk champion, Kamari Brown, out of Georgia, Georgia Southern. The semifinals were some of the best dunks we've ever seen in any dunk competition. <laughs> As he heads over to the Lippman Interview Center with Angel Gray and taking home the championship strap. One of the best dunk contests we have ever seen in this event. You said you came with a plan. I did. How did you like how you everything flowed for you? In this uh, event? The last dunk, I kind of took off kind of late. I wanted to jump further, further back. But uh, I'm happy to be here. I give all the glory to God and everything. So we're out here to have fun. I'm here representing my school, myself, my parents, Tallahassee, Florida, Statesboro, Georgia. So I'm happy to be here. You danced your way all the way over here. Oh, that's me. This belt. That's me. I love dancing. I love to have fun, being myself. And then seeing Shaquan as well, when you're seeing his dunks, oh, what yeah. was going through your mind and what he was able to apply as well? Uh, I was thinking, like, I hope it's not a tie because I'm trying to think out what, how many <laughs> dunks I got left in my, my bag, but uh, I'm glad I won, though. You, you won, you got the belt. Mm. I think you get some cash, too. How does that feel? Yeah, 5000 That feels good. That <laughs> <laughs> <I> feels good. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, with the Mike Jackson one. Oh, you got to give us a dance. Hey, you got to give us a dance. Hey, hey, hey. The dance moves were Ashar 